it's not. Oh, I forgot my uh, microphone. Okay, now I'm ready. Um, hi, you guys. It's me, Noah from Data Soul, and I haven't been on my channel for a while because I had a baby and stuff happened, and stuff happened, and you know how it is. So today I am here with a new video tutorial for Christmas. You can find this pattern that I'm going to stitch now and two more in the same um, kind of a bundle for Christmas. You can check out the link in my description box. Um, I'm afraid that all the embroidery kits for Christmas are sold out, um, but you can't order, but you can order uh, the patterns and do it at home. So without further ado, let's start stitching. Okay, so let's get everything we need. We need the fabric. Mine is already printed like you get in the embroidery kit. I have my scissors. Soon you will see my threads. And this is my hoop. I'm stitching with a mini hoop. The size is three inches or eight centimeters. And you just apply your fabric between the hoops and tight the screw above. You can also um, tie the fabric all around and stretch it really good. It's easier to stitch when your fabric is stretched. This will be the end result. I'm going to stitch the tree a little bit different this time. Since uh, you guys at home don't have the printed fabric, which already uh, painted. Uh, like you see here, the tree area is already painted. So we're going to do it a little bit different this time. Okay, so let's take our thread. I'm going to start with the wheels of the car and I want to show you how I prepare the thread with the needle. So I, I'm going to use the thread as is and on one side of the thread I'm going to insert the thread through the needle and on the other side I'm going to make a large knot. And now we are ready to start stitching. If you already know my video tutorials, then you know I like to do set and stitch on sections, especially if I need to do something like a round shape like this wheel and I want all the stitches to go from the outside to the middle in an organized and beautiful way. So I'm usually I'm doing one section and then stitching it before going to the next one but I want to show you here how I, pl I plan ahead in my head so I'm making kind of like a pizza slice <laughs> pizza slices or um, wheel like bicycle wheel and dividing the shape to sections then I'm going to stitch each section with satin stitch so this will allow me to make sure I'm not stitching too much to the left or too much to the right and not too much in the same spot. This dividing of the shape is helping me stay in the same direction for all the stitches because we're stitching a shape that has a really long outline but a really small outline in the middle. So we need to make sure we're not stitching too much to one side so the wheel will not look uneven. Once you're done stitching I want to show you how I close the thread, how I finish the stitch. So put your hoop upside down and then you can do it with a needle or without. I'm doing it now without because the thread was too small and just make a very small knot very very close to the fabric. You can also add uh, another knot if you want to and, uh, and just snip the axis of the thread off. I'm adding the middle of the wheel now. I'm also doing it with satin stitch but here I'm not using any section. I'm just doing a simple satin stitch. I'm going up from one side and go down from the other and just filling the shape. You can go from top to bottom, from bottom to top, or just freestyling it like I'm doing here. Before I'm stitching the car, I want to show you how I'm doing the car lights. And I'm using some kind of a leaf technique here because I want the tips to remain sharp. Uh, sometimes when we're doing 
Second stitch, the shape can be very um, soft on the edges. So I'm doing a simple stitch across the shape and then filling it with satin stitch. This will allow us to keep the original shape that has sharp edges. Next thing I'm going to stitch before stitching the car is doing the windows. I'm using the same color I used for the inside of the wheels and I'm using satin stitch again. You will see a lot of satin stitch in this pattern and I'm doing it from bottom to top. You can also do it from side to side, but I think since I'm going to also add the line that separate the windows, it will look better if I'll do all of them in a vertical direction. Okay, so it's time to finally stitch the car and when I'm stitching satin stitch I usually start with the end or the beginning <laughs> of the shape but here you see me a couple of times start from the middle. I think it's just because I don't like um, to stitch the end of the shape first when it has very small curve or very small end. I think it's better to start a centimeter or half an inch inside the shape and then go outside towards um, the smaller part of the shape and then keep going from the middle uh, part that we already started stitching. I hope that makes sense. Um, it's just because sometimes the end of the shape can be a little uh, tricky to stitch because you can see it in all the elements in this design. We want to maintain the shape and sometimes with these long stitches, the shape can be a little distorted when we're stitching with long lines and the shape has a small curve or a pointy edge. Okay, now I'm stitching the line that separate the windows. You can see that while I was stitching the windows, I was trying to um, leave a little space for the uh, line that separate them, but you can't really see it once you finished with the windows. So you just pick a spot and go over um, maybe two or three times so the line will be thick enough. And now I'm stitching uh, the rest of the car from the top. Now I'm stitching it with a little bit of an angle like I was like I was doing to the wheel. I recommend you do it also in sections. I like to use sections almost every time I'm doing set and stitch because again, it just helps me stay in the same direction of the thread and fill the shape in an even way. I'm going to quickly finish the other wheel so I can finish stitching the whole car.
Now I'm stitching the base of the tree. Again, I'm using satin stitch and I'm doing it horizontally, just a regular satin stitch. I like to make a little frame for myself, so I'm doing um, the right stitch and the most left stitch. And now I'm going to fill the shape in the middle. So I picked out the colors for my Christmas lights and I grabbed my scissor to help me. By the way, you can find those scissors and more embroidery supplies in my shop. I have a new section called Embroidery Supplies and you can find those beautiful scissors there. And if you subscribe to my newsletter, you might get special deals um, for embroidery kits and patterns and, and also for the supplies. So go check it out. And I'm continuing with the pattern now. I'm stitching the Christmas lights with French knots. I love doing French knots. It's so cute. Um, it's simple once you get the hang of it. I have a specific video for how to stitch French knots and I'm going to add it in the description of this video. But let me give you a quick tutorial. Pull your needle up and then while you hold tension with your left hand, twist the thread a couple of times around your needle and then go with your needle back down close to the exit point. Okay, now I'm going to do the tree and I decided to stitch it with long and short stitches which is kind of filling the shape with satin stitch but I'm not going um, all the way from side to side I'm doing um, stitches from top to bottom and I'm doing them in any length that I want I'm doing one long stitch and then one short stitch and a long one and a short one and I'm filling the shape and I'm filling the shape like in a freestyle way I'm just doing stitches all over because I wanted to have si because I wanted to have some kind of a um, lifelike look of a pine tree Last thing to do is the light string and I'm using backstitch for that and I'm also using the thread not as is, not with six strands but with three. This is the first time in this whole uh, embroidery design that I didn't use the thread as is and you just split the thread and use only three strands of the six. And it's harder to stitch over the long and short stitches, but I think it will make a better um, lifelike uh, look for the tree. So I think it's worth the hassle.
Okay guys, thank you so much for watching the video and stitching with me if you did. Um, again, you can order this pattern on my shop, the link is in the description box. And you can subscribe to my channel and check the uh, little bell to see all my videos as soon as they come out and you can get updates for that. And happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, happy Christmas. Love you guys, see you in the next video. Bye!